So we want students to be thinking about how light behaves with the body. So in order for them to do so, we first want to look at how light behaves in general. So for each different behaviour of light, we've got an experiment to go alongside it. So for absorption of light, we take a glass of water and we can show the students that if we shine a torch through that, it travels straight through. So there's no absorption through plain water. But then we can add um, an absorbing material. So in this case, we've got some blue food colouring. And if I add a bit of that to my glass, we can see that the light that now travels through is blue. So hopefully you can see that at the camera that the blue dye is absorbing all of the colours in the white light because white light is made up of all of the colours of the rainbow. Um, but only the blue dye absorbs all those colours and only lets blue pass. We can then extend that experiment and add a scatterer to the mix. So one of the most uh, common scatterers is milk. So in milk there's lots of um, fat globules which um, causes light to bounce around. So that's why milk is opaque. So if we add a small amount of milk to our liquid and we mix it up, we've now got a solution that's, or a mixture that's absorbing, absorbing and scattering. So we can shine light in and you can see that the light, some of the light will reflect back and um, bounces around, which means it illuminates the medium in a more diffuse way. We then go on to introduce something called um, an absorption spectra. Now this is something that students probably wouldn't have come across in school before, but it's a really nice activity to get them to try and problem solve and work out if they can make the link between the absorption spectrograph and the diagram that is on the page. Now absorption spectra is a way to show what colours have been absorbed and therefore what colour you will see. Um, and they can go on to try and match the different objects of different colours to the different graphs that are on the uh, resource. So the next activity looks at the principle of refraction. So if you've got a prism in your school, you can use that to demonstrate how light bends and how the different colours of light uh, will bend with, at different angles, which will show the rainbow um, splitting light into its uh, respective colours. Um, in the resource, we've used a glass of water, which does the same thing. Uh, one thing I think is really nice about this is that it shows the students that um, these effects happen in real life objects and not just in sort of a, a magic prism. Um, so you can do the same effect just with a glass of water. So as absorption plays a large part of the Metapolite project, we've included another investigative task in which students can explore what uh, different coloured lights will be absorbed by different coloured gummy bears. So first we get the students to predict what they think might happen and then we get them to try it out with an experiment. So taking these two different coloured sweets, red and green, we can use coloured filters to turn our white light into red. So if we shine red light onto the red sweet, we can see that it travels really well through. Whereas if we travel, shine red light onto our green sweet, we don't get anything travelling through. And that's because the green gummy bear is absorbing all of that red light. So this gives them a way of seeing in real life how uh, light is absorbed by real objects. And to download a copy of the Lightsaver resource, including the teacher guide, student guide, and the case studies, you'll find all of this on the Royal Academy of Engineering STEM Resource Hub, um, in addition to links to UCL Engineering and to the Metapolite Project.